Hi, I'm Sam from Huawei Developers, and welcome to Develop with HMS Core. Here, you'll find everything you need to know about connecting to services in HMS Core 4.0. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to follow us. Today, I'm going to show you how to integrate Huawei Account Kit. With Huawei Account Kit integrated into your app, wherever your app is running, users can quickly and securely sign in with their Huawei ID. Huawei Account Kit is now available in more than 170 countries and regions, and around 5,500 apps have already integrated it. It uses two-factor authentication to secure digital assets and personal privacy of your app users. Now, let's get started. The first thing to do is make sure that you have a development environment properly set up. Use Android Studio to create a project. Enter the app name and its package name. Make sure that the package name you entered is correct, as it's difficult to change later. Click Finish. Your project is now ready. The next step is to configure dependencies. To do this, first open the build Gradle file of your project and configure the Maven repository used by the App Gallery Connect plugin. Then add dependencies for the App Gallery Connect plugin and HMS SDK. And open the app level build Gradle file. There are two things to look out for here. One is to declare the App Gallery Connect plugin. The other is to add dependencies for the account SDK. After that, click Sync Now. Next, let's create an app. Visit Huawei Developer, click Console, and click Huawei App Gallery. You are now on App Gallery Connect. Click My Apps, then click New. Fill in the required information and click Create. On the Distribute tab, add an icon for the app. This icon will appear on the screen where users authorize your app. Go to the Develop tab and enter your app package name. This must be the same as that used when you're creating an app in Android Studio. You'll also need an SHA-256 certificate fingerprint. It can be obtained from the signature file using the JDK key tool like this. Paste it and download this JSON file. Drag it to the app directory of your Android Studio project as shown. You've now finished configuring your project. OK, let's move to the integration process. Add a main activity module to your project. Define three buttons for sign in, authorization revoking, and sign out. You also need to define two attributes, image view for presenting the profile picture of the sign in person, and text view for presenting the username. OK, let's keep going. In the onCreate method, set the tap event listeners for the three buttons and set the default values for image view and text view. A tap in on the sign in button will call the ID token sign in click method. This method defines an auth params parameter, which contains the default scope and ID token. Use this parameter to create a Huawei ID auth service object. If silent sign in is needed, call the silent sign in method through this object. The silent sign in process will check whether your app has been authorized by the user. If already authorized, your app will directly sign the user in, and the onSuccess method in onSuccess listener will be called after a successful sign in. You can obtain the sign in information from the auth Huawei ID object and decide on the information to be presented. Here, we're going to present the profile picture and name of the person signing in. After a user taps the button for revoking authorization, the cancel authorization method is called through the Huawei ID auth service object. Once the authorization revoking is successful, the onComplete method is called to clear user information and notify the user of the success. When a user taps the sign out button, the sign out method is called using the Huawei ID or service object. This method also clears user information and notifies the user of successful sign out. Here's the app we've created. We can see there is currently no profile picture or username on the screen. That's because you've not signed in. To sign in, tap the sign in button. You'll see the authorization screen as shown. Tap the authorize and sign in button. Now you're signed in and you can see your profile picture and name on the screen. If you tap the sign out button, 
your profile picture and name disappear. Next time you tap the sign in button, you'll be directly signed in without authorization. If you tap the authorization revoking button, authorization on the app will be revoked and you will be signed out. And when you tap the sign in button again, you are taken into the reauthorization process. Tap the authorize and sign in button to sign in again. Well, there you go. You've now integrated Huawei Account Kit into your app. That's it for today's episode. Please leave your questions in the comment area below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you soon.